guys welcome to my channel this is Nikki Wonder thank you for coming back today guys I need you to first look down and make sure you're subscribed yes please subscribe to my channel so that we can stay in touch and communicate and be a big family okay I said it so today's video warning it is a rant video guys I have to get this off my chest here about handbag pet peeves things I need folks to stop doing and things I need designers to stop doing with their handbags. I just feel like I need to contribute to the world today. So four things I would like to talk about as far as handbag users. These are the owners. These are the people buying the bags and carrying them. And when I, when I walk around Walmart, Target, wherever I'm at, and I see people offending the handbag, it really makes me upset. <laughs> so here we go four things I need you guys to stop doing with your handbags one handbags that are obviously broken or uh, out of use guys these are bags with big broken zippers just dangling this is handles dangling by a thread come on guys get it fixed it's really just atrocious to look at a bag like that and you I'm a handbag connoisseur. I know everybody is not, you know, some people it's just something to carry. And I understand that. And, you know, all, all rights going to those people like that. But me as a handbag lady, I would like people to look nice with their bags. So please make sure you get your handbags fixed if they're broken or something. Don't walk around like that. It does not look good. <laughs> the next thing I don't like about handbag users handbags on the floor in the most un I would say the uncomfortable situ situations so handbags on the ground handbags in muddy places dirty places just tossed on the floor and scraped up you know guys I, I I'm a big fan of taking care of the things you have and so please if you guys could stop doing that that would make me very happy sometimes it makes me just want to cry um, the next thing that I don't like is the overloaded handbag. Oh my gosh. And I've been an offender of this a few times, so I'm not passing any kind of like anything. I'm just saying the overloaded bag where there is stuff literally falling out the bag and the handles are strained so bad that you can hear them crying. One of my pet peeves, guys. So look into that. Um, and the last thing for the handbag users out there is... Uh, giant stains oh, and the odors and things like that. Sometimes you can't help it, you know, workhorse bags and things, but I have seen, I've seen handbags that had a pen explode in them and bleed right through the bag. And it's like, nobody cares. Ink everywhere. Don't really care. One of my pet peeves with my bags is if I get one stain in it, I am in there just... You know, with the cleaner or whatever, just trying to clean it, trying to get things off of my wallet. And sometimes I see people with that and I'm like, how can you carry that bag? Oh my gosh. So anyways, just as a few of my handbag pet peeves for you guys and for the designers out there. So these are my pet peeves, handbag pet peeves for designers out there. The strap attachment. One of the things that I look at in a bag is of course, size shape quality you know linings and things but another thing that i'm noticing a lot recently is designers are putting the straps right next to each other so that when you carry it on your shoulder if it's a long shoulder strap it comes down to like this weird v i don't get it so things such as like my michael kors riley bag um if you have a riley you know what i'm talking about the handles actually attach really close together don't like that so one of my design pet peeves for handbags another one is the handbags that are hard to get in and out of um, I forget what the bag is called I think it is the uh, Sistina the Louis Vuitton Sistina bag I don't have one but that bag has a loop over the top that you have to unlock and pull it over and then you got a zipper that's got to go from here to here and it's got two zippers I think it's got two zippers on it I mean, by the time I get in the bag, I've forgotten what I went in there for. So those type of bags, they're pretty. I like the way the Sistina looks, 
but not one of my favorite designs to get in and out of the bag. Not very useful. Um, one of the next design pet peeves of mine, guys, is the super duper blingy metallic bags. The ones that are like, it's like you covered your bag in aluminum foil and you're walking around with it. One of my pet peeves, guys, I think that, you know, I'm all for metallic bags and everything. I have a few of my own, but for me, that is a design no-no. And I immediately am turned off by those bags. So just one of my Nikki Wonder pet peeves. <laughs> and finally, as far as design goes, pet peeves, the noisy, clingy, clingy, clingy bags. For example, the Michael Kors Cynthia bag. I had that bag for a couple of weeks and I carried it twice and I immediately took it back to the store because the jingle and the jangle of the handles, I just, I don't want everybody to know when I'm coming down the hall or up the stairs. It's kind of a noisy bag. So those are some of my design pet peeves, guys. If you have handbag pet peeves, talking to my bag ladies out there, bagaholics, fashionistas, this one's for you. If you have a handbag pet peeve, I would love, love to know what it is. Please post it down below. Again, I love you guys for coming back to my channel. I love the support. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.